Hey guys, so in today's video, we're going to be testing out a foundation that promises to be virtually indetectable on the skin. I'm so excited for this one. It is the brand new Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. So this is like a reformulation of their original HD foundation. But let's be real, we all knew and loved. It was a foundation that was originally created to be worn on camera, so like under intense lighting and, you know, in like really, really close focus. So this one here is like a version of that, but they say that they have made it better. It is now a 24 hour wear formula. Uh, and the coverage is customizable, so it can go from natural to medium to full coverage, depending on how you apply it. So I'm really, really excited to try this out today. We're going to be testing it out on my skin, and then I'm going to be wearing it all day. And we're going to see if it really is, number one, long-lasting, and number two, undetectable on the skin. So if you are interested in seeing a full in-depth review on the brand new Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation, and please keep on watching. All right, I'm just on the Makeup Forever website. I'm gonna read you a little bit about this formula so that you do know the ins and the outs and kind of what it's all about. So this is the new version of the iconic Ultra HD. Obviously, uh, it says that it's powered by technology that enhances performance and undetectability for skin that looks like skin under any light. I mean, that sounds pretty good, right? So 24 hour wear, it says it's a liquid foundation that blurs and covers imperfections. They also say it's got a micro skin system that syncs with the complexion for a true to skin finish. Uh, obviously, like I said, it is buildable. So natural, medium, full coverage, depending on how you apply it. But they also do say no caking and no settling into fine lines. Um, apparently it flexes on the skin so it wears really naturally during the day. Now here's a good one, waterproof and sweat proof. Basically the gist is it's meant to look like your skin but better and it's meant to stay undetectable and looking flawless for 24 hours. Now I'm not going to be wearing this for 24 hours. Uh, no, I will not be staying awake that long today, but I'm going to try and leave it on my skin for about 14 hours so we can really give it a good test so we can really see, you know, just how it wears. Now, if you are new here to my channel, I do have an oily skin type. Um, so we've certainly got, you know, oils to deal with as well. So shade wise, I have released this one in 40 shades and it's meant to be like the original HD foundation shades plus new ones to extend the range. I have picked up the color. 2Y36, which is meant to be the same as, and I do have the original, um, it's meant to be the same as the old Y365 in the original. I don't know though. The old one looks a little bit more yellow. I did purchase this off the Sephora Australia website. It's 43 USD on the Makeup Forever website and 66 it costs here in Australia. So when you buy it, it does come in a little box. There's some information on there about the formula. Oh, it actually also says on there mask friendly. So perhaps it's meant to be safe to wear underneath a mask as well. Semi matte yet luminous finish, no color oxidization. All right, this is what the little bottle looks like. I actually really like the packaging. I don't know, it's almost like a little bit playful and then you pull the lid off and then you've got like a little pump applicator at the top. And it does also say to mix it well. Yeah, I feel like this shade's like a little bit pinker than I would normally go for, but we'll see what it's like. Now, like I said, customizable coverage. So you can apply it with your fingers for a really light natural coverage. You can apply it with a brush for medium coverage or with a sponge for fuller coverage. Because we really want to test the caking and the undetectability of the skin, I reckon we apply it with a sponge so we get the most coverage out of it to really see how it performs. And it does say you got to shake it. So I'm going to pump it onto the back of my hand. Okay, there's the formula there. It's actually quite a thick formula. I didn't expect it to be quite that thick. I'm going in and I'm going to dot it on my my skin and we'll start applying. Oh, this shade is not right for me. I can already tell. I did have quite a hard time trying to pick a shade on the website. I was like, oh, I don't know. See how this one's like very peachy on my skin. I mean, I'm going to wear it and test it for the video, but I will pick it up in another shade. I should be able to correct this fairly easily with like some concealer and, you know, things like that, but it's not quite the right shade. I want to say first impressions, it looks pretty okay on the skin. I'm not necessarily like groundbreakingly blown away. You know how sometimes you put on a foundation and like instantly you're like, oh, that looks incredible on my skin. I'm not, I'm not getting that. I'm definitely not getting that from it. Coverage is definitely medium, um, even with a sponge. 
Like I do actually have, I got my hair colored yesterday and I do have a little bit of hair color just on my skin down here. And it's actually not, like it's not really doing a great job of covering that up at all. So it's certainly not like a full coverage formula. Oh, and I did also forget to mention on this side of my face, I have applied a mattifying primer. So we're going to be able to see the difference between the two sides. I do think already it looks a whole lot smoother on the side with the primer. All right, so it has dried down to a sort of soft matte finish. It's not flat or necessarily really that matte on the skin. It is still a little luminous, but let me have a really close up look. Yeah, it does look pretty good. I mean, you can tell that I'm wearing a foundation, but you can't necessarily put a foundation on the skin and be like, you can't see it because you've got to get coverage somehow, don't you? But it does look pretty good now. Like now that it's had like a minute to sort of settle, um, it doesn't look terrible. Let's get a little close up action. So here it is on this side of my face. I don't mind um, the hair dye on my skin. We're just going to ignore that. Uh, but here it is on my skin with no primer. Do feel like it looks pretty nice on camera there. And obviously I am sitting underneath studio lights. So it's like a good chance to kind of see, you know, it in like full detail, full focus. And then this is the side here with the primer. So no primer on that side, primer on this side. I do, I definitely, definitely can see the difference. Like it's much smoother on this side, but both sides, I mean, they don't look bad. They look pretty good, I want to say. And hopefully I'm in focus so that you can see it all fairly well. It's not settling. It doesn't look cakey. It's not settling into like the lines around my mouth. And a lot of formulas do that pretty much nearly instantaneously. It does look very smooth and it has dried down. Like it doesn't really feel that sticky or tacky. So... Yeah, I want to say that my thoughts on it now are better than they initially were. I feel like it just needed a minute to kind of warm up on the skin. All right, so I've got the rest of my makeup on. I've got to say, you know, I, I put a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes and I've powdered and I do feel like it's looking like it's a much better shade match now. But I've got to say, I feel like applying bronzer almost seems like it was a little bit patchy. Um, I sort of had a little bit of trouble kind of around my hairline blending the bronzer and I'm not sure if it was just like an illusion because I've got a little bit of hair dye up there or if it was actually applying a little bit patchy because of the foundation. I can't say necessarily either way. And I did have a little bit of patching of the foundation um, and the bronzer sort of just down here. Like see how it just doesn't look, it's just not like as neat and tidy. Like I feel like as my cheeks would normally look, I feel like it's just a little bit patchy. But that could also, I guess, be attributable to the fact that the foundation is um, too deep for me and not the right skin tone. So I do feel like now everything is looking pretty good. I wouldn't say that it's necessarily completely undetectable on the skin. You can definitely see that I'm wearing a foundation. But overall, it doesn't look too bad. It's certainly not a foundation where I look in the mirror and I'm like, whoa, my skin looks so smooth, so perfected. My skin looks incredible. But it does feel really lightweight. And I have had this actually on my face for about an hour. I had to take a phone call. So it has been sitting on my skin for a little while already. And this is sort of what it is looking like. It's looking pretty smooth underneath my eyes. Obviously, everything is powdered down. It's looking pretty smooth. I do still absolutely think it's smoother on the side where I have applied a primer than the side where I don't have a primer. Um, again, you would you would assume that to be the case with any foundation. But I do just think, I don't know, the bronzer seems a little patchy around my hairline. Obviously, this is the first impressions and we're sort of more going on the smoothness and the wear time and everything for this foundation. But I will update you. Um, I'll apply it again tomorrow and I will update you in the comments or in the description bar if I find the same issue with the bronzer. It could just be that the particular bronzer that I use doesn't mesh well with this foundation. Like there's lots of you know, things involved. I'd love to know though, if you've tried this foundation, let me know in the comments, did you find that your bronzer looked a little bit patchy over the top? I'd love to know. It feels very smooth. It feels very lightweight. Um, I can hardly tell that, you know, I'm wearing like a full face of makeup. Definitely feels lightweight. And it does look pretty natural on the skin. It is like a soft sort of glowy matte. Uh, super lightweight, no caking and no settling so far. Okay guys, so we are six hours into our wear test of this foundation and I gotta tell you, I kind of need to eat my words. It's actually looking really, really nice on my skin. It's almost like 
it just needed my oils to kind of come through to be able to settle and to be able to I don't know, really kind of melt into my skin. Definitely at this stage, there is no caking. There is definitely no separating. And I just feel like it overall does look really, really nice and smooth. I'm not going to necessarily say that it's completely undetectable on the skin. Like that's kind of a, I mean, certainly, you know, my skin's natural texture is showing through. It's definitely not necessarily like a blurring formula, but I think by undetectable on the skin, they mean that it doesn't look cakey or powdery or like it doesn't settle on the skin. So, you know, you can tell that you're wearing a foundation, but you can't. If that makes sense. I just think it is looking a million times better than it did when I initially applied it. Initially, I was like, oh, it kind of looks like it's uh, not necessarily emphasizing texture, but it definitely wasn't doing me any favors as far as blurring texture was going. And I just feel like now it just looks super seamless and smooth. Like, I'm actually really impressed with how this is looking on my skin. We do have a little bit of shine coming through, mainly just through the T-zone here. Um, you know, nothing terrible. And even like, like when I blot with my finger, um, the foundation doesn't, like it's not actually coming off the skin. I don't have any patches of product missing anywhere on my face. And I've definitely been touching my face today. You know, been running around doing errands and whatnot. And it just, it looks seriously so seamless. We don't have any creasing or settling into the fine lines on my forehead. And we also don't have any creasing or settling into the fine lines that I have around my mouth. And even, you know, like sometimes my chin, it starts to look really, really textured and awful. It just, my skin looks perfect everywhere. It literally, I, I don't, I don't have a bad word to say about this at this point, honestly. Originally I was like, uh, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. But now I'm like, at six hours? I love you. So I'm going to keep wearing this one. We do have friends coming over for dinner tonight. So it is going to be a particularly late night, you know, and there's going to be lots of mucking around and stuff. It's not like I'm going to be sitting there, you know, perfectly not touching my face. I feel like it'll really put it through its paces. But yes, at the six hour mark, I'm actually really, really impressed. Like, this is good. This is good. I'm going to go online and order some different shades though, because this one's not the right shade. Um, I mean, it looks fine now. I feel like it's, they promised no oxidization, but maybe it has oxidized a tiny bit. I don't know. Or maybe it's just because I've got concealer and bronzer and, you know, we've sort of settled down. Should we touch up? Maybe the sponge that I used, I'm just going to sort of tap it over my face. We'll see how that goes. It just sort of helps mattify it the tiniest little bit. It really does look so smooth and seamless. I'm, I, I'm eating my words, guys. I'm eating my words. So yeah, I will see you guys later on tonight and we will see what it is looking like then. All right, guys. So we are back with the final check-in for the day. I have officially had this foundation on my skin for, it's probably 14 and a half hours now. So quite a long time. Can I just say, in comparison to my very first impressions of this foundation, I feel entirely different about this formula now. I cannot believe how well this has held up on my skin. Like literally, I have been wearing this all day and it just seriously still looks so good. So for starters, there is no caking whatsoever, no creasing and no separation of this product on my skin. You know how normally, and I mean, I said it earlier on in our last check-in, like, through the day from talking and smiling and laughing and like all the things that I do, a lot of formulas like they separate and they cake up really specifically around my like lower jawline and kind of besides my mouth and on top of my mouth. I think just like from the movement, like the formulas don't sort of flex and move with my skin. This formula, and I mean, it did promise, like this is one of the claims of the formula. Um, it has not caked at all. I do think now... Like, obviously, you know, we've had a fair bit of oil come through. Um, I'm quite oily through the T-zone. And I do think now that that oil has come through, I am missing, like, some patches of the foundation just down here on my jawline. Like, I have been, like, you know, leaning on my face like this. Um, so probably that's why it's come off. So I don't think it's necessarily, you know, particularly a transfer, like a really strong transfer proof formula. But... I gotta say, totally cake proof, totally crease proof, you know, no settling and no separating. It's actually amazing. Like I'm quite surprised 
at how good it looks on my skin. Like it does look kind of undetectable because you just, you can't see that build up of extra texture that you normally get with a foundation when it kind of separates. Even sometimes I find like foundation formulas actually separate on the skin. They kind of like break up themselves like when your oils come through and this one just has not done that at all. I am shook. I am shiny. Um, ordinarily, I would have thought... Probably would recommend touching up this one with a translucent pressed or loose powder at about the eight hour mark if you are an oily skin type like mine um, because I am quite shiny. But at the same time, I'm also not as shiny as I have been with other formulas in the past. And if I sort of just like mop it up a bit, like the foundation doesn't, you know, it doesn't transfer straight off and it still looks really fresh on the skin. Like it's actually quite surprising. Let me zoom in. So here is my skin close up. If I sort of like try and stretch it out, you can see there's no separating and no caking whatsoever, which I'm just like astonished. And like, look at here on my forehead, there's no creasing. And I've always normally got two fairly prominent lines on my forehead there. And also fairly prominent lines on the sides of my mouth, but you know, it's not settled there at all. Little bit of foundation missing, like I said, just sort of on my jawline where I was leaning on my face. But other than that, it looks so fresh, so perfect. And I do think quite undetectable on the skin. Like it is a really natural finish. I, d oh, you guys, this is a good find. A good find. So it's probably no surprises at this point, but this definitely gets a thumbs up from me. And interestingly, you know, you saw, you've watched the video up till this point. I wasn't that impressed with the formula to begin with. I was like, oh, it looks like, uh, I don't know. It doesn't look that great on my skin. Talk about, I don't know. I put concealer on and then I powdered everything down. So maybe it took about 20 minutes and then I was like, oh, Hang on a minute. This has started to look so much better. And then once my oils came through, it was like a whole nother level. I really, really, really like this. I will obviously continue testing it. I will continue, you know, mixing it with different primers and just sort of seeing how it goes on my skin. But like as a straight up first impressions, this gets a big thumbs up from me. I would love to know as always though, have you tried this formula? What is your skin type and how did it wear on your skin? I guess the other thing that we do need to revisit as well is that sort of patchiness that I experienced with applying the bronzer. I will uh, try it with a different bronzer. I'm not sure if it was just the particular bronzer that I used. It was the Bare Minerals bronzer in the shade Faux Tan. It is quite a dark sort of looking bronzer. Um, it's much darker in the pan than it is on the skin. It's an interesting formula, this one, but yeah, it just, I don't know. I felt like it was like a little bit patchy on my cheeks, but yeah, I'd love to know your thoughts. I'd love to know your experiences with this one. I'm going to pick it up in a color that actually matches me properly. And I actually also far prefer it over the uh, original ultra HD. I think it's a much nicer formula, but those are all of my thoughts, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I hope that you found this video helpful as always. If you've got any questions, please let me know. I love you guys heaps and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.